Hi, in this slide, uh, I would like to illustrate sort of the, the dynamic life cycle economics of getting share of customer, particularly in a target niche where we have best distinctive service value. So what happens is initially we go out and we call on a, on a, on a, on a, on a best looking kind of customer in our number one niche. And that costs us money. So this is below the line as far as you know representing losses, and I think above the line is kind of profits. You notice this vertical axis is company profit index, whatever that might mean. Um, and what happens is we call them a bunch of times. They go, sure, okay, fine, I like you, you know, type of thing. I'll give you some sales. Um, so we 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 get some initial sales, and and it could stay at that level. But if we go and you know provide them with consistently brilliant service and call their attention to it, then over time we're just too too easy to do business with because we've got the late cutoff, we've got the best fill rates, they call their normal guy, he doesn't have it, they call us, we have it. At some point they start to switch and call us first, and so the other guy and you know business fl flops over. At some point then they're gonna say, Well, you know, I really love you guys and all that sort of stuff, but but uh, you know, times are tough and so forth. So Here's last look. If you can just meet the price, then you can keep the business. And that's where we say, well, no, you know, we've talked about all the things we've been doing to lower your hidden costs, build your bottom line, help you please your customers better and grow faster and so forth. So we deserve last look and an extra point for me, the sales rep, an extra point for the service. Or so they go, okay, fine, fine, fine. Well, what happens is because we have high fill rates, so we're getting ever bigger share of customer, we're getting more margin dollar per ticket, more margin dollar per stop of the truck, more margin dollar per call on the account. All these things give us better operating costs, so we're putting a, a, a bigger amount of, pro, of, of margin to the bottom line because our cost to serve is dropping in proportion to the margin dollars. And then the last thing to look at is they're so happy that you know somebody there leaves and goes to somebody else in the industry and they, they drag us in or they tell their best buddy, you know, you got to buy from, from ABC Supply because they're the best. So that's the most powerful form of advertising you can get. Now there's one more dimension to this I might add, which is that we're, we're, we're assuming that this account is kind of static, but some customers are perpetual innovators, they're very focused and disciplined, they're gazelles. They're growing two, three, four times faster than the industry average. And so if that's the case, then this whole pipe is growing this way, at a greater rate and they're growing us because we've hooked our wagon to them. Of course there are other customers that may be going like this uh, because they're poorly run da, 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 and maybe those aren't our target accounts or certainly we're aware of of, of doing business at a, on a very careful basis so we don't wind up with a write-off at the end of the day or the end of the decade. So this gets across the idea of net profit per customer and net profit dynamics within share of, of, of customer math. Uh, and this is a theme. We'll, we'll come back to this, this particular meme uh, many times. Thank you.